Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to the common room. Today we are going to be doing something a little different. So keep watching if you would like to see me open my very first swap box. So I am so excited to be participating in the Golden Egg Harry Potter Easter Swap. This swap was created by Melissa at Geeking Out with Melly Mel and Christian over at McDorks. There are 15 different channels that are collaborating with this swap. So I will make sure to leave a list of all of those channels in the description. So my box was sent to me from Melissa over at Geeking Out with Melly Mel. So I am so excited to see what she has in store for me. And then if you would like to see the box that I sent out, make sure to check out Christian at McDorks. But guys, this box that Melissa sent me is huge. Let me show you just a little bit of the front of it because she put a bunch of stickers on here to make it look really magical. But you can see it's a really big box. And we have a bunch of little stickers on here. We have a Hogwarts Express up here. And then of course a Borgen and Burks because she knows me too well and knows that I'm a little obsessed with the dark arts. We also have a London to Hogwarts Hogwarts Express ticket and then a flourish and blots. And of course we have the Dumbledore quote, this is happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the lights. It's just so magical. I'm so excited to see what's in here. Now, before I get this open, there were a few requirements of the items that were gonna be sent in the box. So I just wanna kind of tell you what those are and then we will see what she sent me for each of the requirements. So of course, since this is called the Golden Egg Harry Potter Swap Box, one of the requirements is a Golden Egg related item. We also were required to send a Harry Potter plush item, a Harry Potter t-shirt, and then at least $25 of other like mystery or random items. So let's go ahead and get this open and see what she sent for each of those. She'll take this bad boy up. I love that when you open it, she has like put some cardboard in here. So I have no idea what's in here, which makes it even more mysterious. And I love that. You can see on top, now that I've removed that little piece of cardboard, it says golden egg, Harry Potter Easter swap. I'm so excited, you guys. I have never done anything like this before. And I really enjoy that Mel was the one who got my name because I talk to Mel all the time. I did get to meet her in New York. So I'm just a little excited because she knows me a little better than others and I'm excited to see what she got me. So in the big box that she sent me, there were two other boxes. There is this right here, which I'm not sure what this is. And then she also sent a wizarding trunk box, which I'm sure she just has all of the other items in here. So which one to open first? Just in case there's a card or something like that, I'm gonna open up this wizarding trunk one just to kind of see what's in here. This is that really thick wizarding trunk box too. And I can tell you it feels like it is jam packed with stuff. I guess since I have a subscription box, I can give you guys a sneak peek into it as well. What do we, oh, it looks so fun. <sighs> see, and there is a card in here. So I'm glad I opened this one first. It says Allie and it has a little Slytherin sticker on the back. So our card has the Deathly Hallows symbol on it. It says, Allie, thank you so much for being a part of the Golden Egg Harry Potter Easter Swap. I am so grateful for our friendship. Cannot wait to hang out again. I hope you love everything I picked out for you. A little birdie told me you don't have these items, so I'm excited for you to open them. Happy Easter, Mel. Apparently, she did talk to Chris to make sure that I didn't have some of the items she was sending me. And he was so cute because he told me that a random person that he didn't know reached out to me or reached out to him. That way I thought that it was someone from the swap that I had never met before. So him and Mel talked about these items before she sent them. So I'm super excited. Oh, there's so many things in here and they're all wrapped up. Okay, the first thing that's not wrapped up, which I'm very excited about, is some Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean. One of the things that you could put in the box was Easter candy or candy since it is an Easter swap. So me and Chris have tried doing these like one time before. We might have to do it again. The last time that I did these, the only bad flavor I got was soap and Chris got all the other bad flavors. So I'm a little scared to try it again. But of course, this is a perfect Harry Potter Easter candy. So I think 
that this is like the same wrapping paper that's in that other box that was in our big box. So I'm gonna open this first. I can tell you that whatever this is, is heavy. Oh, oh, I'm very excited about this. Me and Mel had looked at these and I have not gotten them yet because we're both a little, like we love Harry Potter, of course, but we're both a little into like the witchy, you know, like the real life witchy stuff. And she sent me, it's the Harry Potter Magical Meditations and it's 64 inspirational cards in booklet. Now I did see these going around on Instagram and it says like on the back to kind of explain what it is. It says embrace the knowledge of the wizarding world with this inspirational card deck featuring different meditative prompts to help you connect to the powerful themes and positive lessons of the Harry Potter films. Oh, I am so excited. I have to get into this and show you a couple of them. I can already tell the swap boxes are gonna be something that I'm going to enjoy because I'm already getting something that I've seen and I've thought about wanting to get for myself, but I just hadn't got it for myself yet. So it's so exciting. So look how pretty this is without the plastic on it. You can see there's like some gold foiling on the front. And of course you have Hedwig on here. Oh, look how beautiful that is. The little bag is Hogwarts. Uh, oh, and then it does have this little book in it, which I am sure if we open up, it's gonna have like some information on all of the cards. Yeah, if you open it up, it's just got some information about the cards. But let's see some of these actual cards. Man, I don't even wanna take it out of this because this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Let's pick a random one. Okay. So this one says it is for personal growth. And you can see the time turner on here. And then if you read the back of it, oh, it's so nice. It has a Harry Potter quote on here. It says it does not do to dwell on dreams, Harry, and forget to live. And it's from Professor Dumbledore from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And then for the information that it gives you, it says there's nothing wrong with a little daydreaming, but it's important not to get so caught up in dreams that you forget to enjoy your life. Today, leave the daydreams behind and go outside. Visit a new place, meet up with friends, or simply take a walk. Explore the world a little and see what adventure it brings you. Not gonna lie, you guys, like I feel like that is something I needed to hear today. So already loving these. Did Mel show you that item? No, but she did good on that one even without your help. So I believe that's going to be counted as one of our mystery or random items. But let's see what else we have. Oh man, she really packed this full of stuff, you guys. There's way more Birdie Bots every flavor bean in here. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do this now. <sighs> there are three more. I'm gonna have so many of these that might have bad flavors in them. I need to see how long they stay good for because I'm going to LeakyCon in July and I'll have like Chris and Tabby and Calvin and Mel had said that she may be coming. She's not 100% sure yet, but I know there's going to be a lot of other people there and that would definitely be a fun game to play with everyone. But let's see what she has in this bag. You can see it has the Harry Potter sticker and I can tell that it is wrapped up in some tissue paper from the Harry Potter New York store. I did not get very much when I went there. I wonder if there's a way that you can like order this or purchase it because I would love to have like a big stack of it to use when I'm sending stuff out. Let's see. This is so much fun because it's like a subscription box, but you have no idea what's gonna be in here. I only know that there's gonna be one golden egg themed item and the rest of it, no idea. So there's something soft in here. So there is a possibility that it's our plush item. Oh, no, wait, I think it's our t-shirt. Oh, I don't have this one. I'm so excited. I'm very excited about this. I have seen these at Universal in Orlando and I think that this might even be a new one because I believe that they used to have one that was a lighter purple and they released a new one with a darker one. But you guys, it's a night bus shirt. I didn't even know what to expect for a t-shirt, but I wasn't expecting this. And I have looked at this so many times. I am pumped. So of course you can see the little night bus, little emblem on the corner. Now it's all that it really has on the front. It's just this really pretty purple color, but just to make it even better on the back, there is just this little note that says, all destinations, nothing underwater. I love this. I am definitely gonna be wearing this all the time. And the material, like it's kind of heavy, 
but you can see that it's really thin too. I think it's just good quality and it's gonna be a perfect shirt to wear this summer when I go to Florida. Oh my goodness, more birdie bots. I'm definitely taking these to Florida. I'm gonna have to find all kinds of Harry Potter fans and we're gonna have to have a big game of just doing this. There's three more items in the box. Two of them are in tissue paper and then we've got one wrapped and one wrapped. So let's do another tissue paper item. I'm trying to feel it, I can't tell. I don't think, it. again, it could be a plushie because there's something soft in here. <gasps> Yay, I've seen these two at Universal. Oh, Mel's killing it already because I have not had any of the things that she has sent me. She sent me these Harry Potter plush items and it is the matching set of Hedwig and Pigwidgeon. We have a little pig and a little Hedwig and I love them. Oh, they are so cute and fuzzy and they just look perfect. Like you can see them on the front here. And then on the back, it gives you little pictures of what they look like from the films. They are absolutely perfect. I'm gonna have to find a place to put them because they're, again, they're the perfect little size to go on a shelf. Yeah, I really like these. Thank you so much, Mel. This box is already fantastic and I can't wait to see what the other three items are. We've already opened our t-shirt. We've already opened our plush item, so one of these is gonna have a golden egg related item and then I don't know what the other two are gonna be. So let's see, this is a box, a little wrapped box that was in our wizarding trunk box. And I don't wanna shake it, but it sounds like there's stuff rattling around. Let's see what it is. There's little like, necklaces in here. <gasps> when did she go to Universal? Cause they almost remind me of like the Mardi Gras necklaces. I'm wondering if she gave me some Mardi Gras necklaces because that's what I feel these are. They're going on. <laughs> okay. But then we have something that's wrapped up in here as well and some more tissue paper. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. You guys, this is our golden egg item. She got me one of the charms from the Lumos Charm Collection. And it, it, oh man, it's pretty in person. But look, it's the golden egg. Oh, you guys, it is so pretty in person. You can see that it opens up and it has like a clear, you know, egg shape. Just like in the movie, it has the clear little part inside of it. These are just so beautiful. And again, this is something that I've looked at because there are a lot of different charms. So I am definitely going to have to pick up one of the bracelets the next time I go to Universal. I think you might be able to order them off the Noble Collection website as well. But Mel, with this item, you have just made me need to collect more of these. So I'm very excited to look at the others, but this one is absolutely beautiful and it is our golden egg item. So we only have two items left. I'm gonna go ahead and open the next one that's wrapped in tissue paper. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. I could be completely wrong. It looks almost tri-wizardy cup shaped and it's very heavy and it's packaged up really nicely so not to get hurt. Let's see what it is. It may not be tri-wizard. It just maybe feels like a, like a goblet or something like that. And you can see the shape of it from here. I'm very excited about this because I can tell you right now I don't have anything like this. I've seen some like little goblets online that always looked really cool, but I've never gotten, oh no, it's not a goblet. I'm very excited for this too though because it is gonna go straight on my shelves. I don't know why I didn't think about this. It's a Honey Duke's candy jar and it is, I, I don't know if it's just really, high quality plastic, but it feels glass, but it's really heavy. And it has some Honeydukes candy in here. I love the little Honeydukes logo. I have a whole Honeyduke shelf, so it's definitely going on there. Let's see if it tells us what the candy is. It's Fizzy Wizzy. I don't think I've had these before from there. So I am very excited. I don't know if I wanna open them. You guys will have to let me know if you've had these before and if you think I should open it and eat one. But this again is going to be a perfect item to go on my shelves 
And yeah, I really like this one too. So we have our very last item. Again, I think we've done all of the required items. So this should be just something random. So let's open it and see what's inside. So when I take off the wrapping paper, we just have this little brown cardboard box. Oh, we have some Peeps jelly beans. The perfect Easter candy. Oh, oh I don't want to see what's in here yet. So first we just have some cute little owl stickers that she had sitting in there. I'm thinking that this is, again, we like the witchy stuff and it looks to me like she sent me some kind of candle. I've seen a lot of these little candles that you burn them for specific reasons. And I could tell that there's some crystals in here and it says that it's frosted spruce. Spruce is honestly, I think my favorite scent of a candle. Yeah, I can smell it from here and it smells amazing. See if you can see on the inside there, all the little, there's like little crystals. And I'm very excited to burn that and see what it smells like. But then we have these two little things. I'm gonna open this one first because it looks like it came a little undone. But we have this little tissue paper item and then a box with a little Cornish pixie on it. And on here, there's a note from her that says, just a little extra pixie dust for you. And then it has a little, oh, this is the cutest little thing I've ever seen. Let me see if I can pull it off here. So underneath that is this tiny little notebook that you can tell is a little Hogwarts notebook. And it says, this book belongs to. And it's like the tiniest little thing. And on the back, you can see the house mascots. I know it's tiny, but I love this. But let's see what she meant in here. Oh, she did send me some witchy stuff, you guys. Oh, yes. She sent me some chocolate. It is wild blueberry craft chocolate. It says it's stone ground in Finland. And I did put on there, we could put like what our favorite kinds of candy and stuff was. And mine is, of course, chocolate. Oh, it's actually not bad calories either. So I can eat it even though I'm supposed to be dieting. Mm. I really wanna eat it right now, but I'm not going to, but we have some blueberry chocolate in here. And then she sent me a, it's a microfiber cloth and it says it's a crystal grid. It says clean your glasses and screens with the magic of microfiber and spirit stones, Ruby record keeper crystal grid. It portrays the energy of quartz, garnet, and calcite. And it's just a little microfiber cloth that looks like a little crystal grid. Yeah, I will definitely be using that because you can never have enough of these little cloths to clean like your screens with. And it's so cute. Okay, we have one last item. It might be another witchy item, but it does have a Cornish pixie on it, so I'm not sure. So let's see. She just wraps everything so nicely. Like I'm second guessing my wrapping job and Christian's video. You guys will have to go take a look, but it's definitely not this nice. <gasps> oh, I love it. I really like it, you guys. It's a pygmy puff keychain. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I think this completes my pygmy puff collection of the different sizes of pygmy puffs. I have a humongous purple one. I have a little pink one. And the last time I was there at Universal, again, I was looking at these guys because I needed the little one. And I think you can only get it in a keychain. Oh, he's so cute. Look at his little face. But then look at his little feet. <laughs> oh, I really like this. And then it's just got this silver little keychain here. And it says Harry Potter on there. This was such a good box, you guys. I really had a really fun time opening this because I had no idea what she was gonna be sending me. I think she knocked it out of the park like she knows me too well because I loved everything that she sent me. I really wanna eat all this candy too. Maybe not the Birdie Bots yet, but the jelly beans and the chocolate sound amazing. Mm, yeah, this was really fun, you guys. Definitely take a look at the description and go check out all of the other videos for all of the other collaborators with this swap. Cause I am sure there are gonna be so many like random cool items that maybe I've never even seen before. And I'm probably gonna be spending a lot of time watching them because I know so many of the people who are in this swap now. So I'll be very excited to see what they thought about their boxes.
So of course I have to give a huge shout out to Melissa at Geeking Out with Melly Mel. Thank you so much for everything that you sent me. I had such a fun time opening everything and I love that you added a few little witchy items in here. It was just amazing. And thank you and Christian for putting this all together. I can tell you right now that I would not be able to create anything like this and get it to all work out. So you guys are amazing. And then for anybody watching, definitely leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite item was and what you think about these swaps, because I can tell you there's definitely one in the future that I'm going to be doing as well. And I really just enjoyed it. So make sure to leave a comment and let me know. As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the common room.